This is a 3D printed model of a solid core nuclear rocket engine based on the US NERVA program. It is only a model and contains no radioactive components. The nuclear engine for rocket vehicle application program produced several engines with some differences in operation, and this model draws influence from multiple designs from the program while maintaining the essential components of a nuclear rocket engine. Instead of using the hot gases resulting from a chemical reaction to produce thrust, a solid core nuclear engine, such as those designed for the NERVA program, operates by forcing hydrogen gas, or another lightweight propellant, through the hot core of a nuclear reactor, before expanding the gas out through a traditional rocket nozzle to produce thrust. The reactor itself consists of hexagonal fuel elements containing uranium. Similarly shaped support struts to hold everything in place and moderate the reactions, a reflector to reflect neutrons emitted from the uranium back into the reactor, and control drums to control the nuclear activity in the reactor, which have a layer of neutron absorbing material covering part of their surface. Under normal operation, the reflector and moderators balance the fission reactions in the fuel elements caused by neutrons being emitted from and colliding with the uranium atoms. However, if the control drums are rotated such that the neutron absorbing surface faces the center of the reactor, this surface will absorb neutrons that would otherwise be reflected back into the reactor. As a result, the number of available neutrons that can initiate a fission reaction is reduced, and the reactor's heat output is lowered. Internal and external shields reduce the radiation received by the area above the engine, where the crew of a spacecraft using one of these engines would be located. The propellant plumbing system utilizes turbo pumps to cycle hydrogen through the reactor. A second turbo pump was included as a backup in some designs, as the reactor required cooling by flowing hydrogen when it was running at full performance. The turbo pumps send the propellant to a cooling channel surrounding the nozzle throat, where it then travels back up into and around the reactor. At the top, the now heated hydrogen propellant is drawn off to run the turbo pump turbines before returning to the reactor. The propellant then passes through the internal radiation shield and into very small channels in the reactor fuel elements and support struts. Inside these channels, the propellant is heated up to around 2500 Kelvin as it travels through the active nuclear core. At the other end of the channels, the heated propellant is then expanded out the nozzle to provide thrust.